you have favorite fights, Alves, from any of your, uh, you know, the storied career you've had? Uh, no, not really. Uh, not really, because, you know, every fight you're in a different mindset, you know, you're a different uh, stage in your life. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I like to stay in the moment and enjoy, you know, what's going on right now. So my favorite fight's going to be May 30th. There you go. But that was a crazy run because it was like five, six in a row, all stoppages uh, culminating with Matt Hughes. You think you can recapture some of that, you know, from what was like seven years ago? And you're still young enough to do it, uh, uh, Thiago. And, you know, and, and uh, you, you've been through a lot of injuries, but you think you can recapture that type of uh, run? Definitely. And I think it's going to be even better this time. You know, I'm more mature. Uh, I know my body well. I know this game so well. You know, I, the, my team now is a lot better than what it was a few years ago. You know, I train with a lot better our training partners. You know, we have a lot more resources than before. So uh, it's just a matter of time, you know, and uh, I think my, my big rise, you know, is going to start on Saturday night. Tiago, explain a little bit deeper what you mean by you're more mature. So, like, back in 2008, 2007, you would win fights and maybe go party or not train as hard. Like, how have you matured and how have you applied it to your career? I mature now that, you know, my life, uh, I always been, you know, a professional athlete. I started fighting professionally at 15 years old, but... You know, I was a professional athlete just, you know, fighting professionally and training very, very hard. You know, I didn't take care of my body, you know, outside of, you know, training like I am right now. You know, my fight, my, my life now, my lifestyle, it's 24-7 on towards uh, my career. You know, everything else comes in second place. And that's the, the maturity, you know, that I learned as you get older. It's not just how hard you train, but how hard you recover, how hard, you know, you, you prep yourself for the next training session. You know, it, it's everything involved. It's definitely a lifestyle. You can never turn that switch off, you know. I'm, I'm fighting, thinking about fighting, training 24-7. But at the same time, once you accept that, once you engrave that in your lifestyle, you're able to relax a lot, a lot more also, you know, because it's just what you do. It's just normal. Yeah, it's funny because uh, early on Brazilians, they held a uh, distinct advantage over non-Brazilians uh, with, with the first set of Brazilian shows when the UFC started to go there. Now that they've been there quite a few times, I think they're like on 20 shows, the record's kind of settled a bit. But we can't even point to that as an advantage for you because you've been in America for so long. You travel just as long as Carlos to get to this fight. But but still, what is it, like 12 years since you've been back? you you got to be pretty pumped up to fi be fighting on, on uh, your, your home country soil. I'm very excited. Yeah, it's been 12 years. Uh, I think, you know, uh, it, it's a blessing. Uh, the U.S. definitely gave me a gift to be able to come here in my country, you know, fight Carlos Condit, you know, be able to reclaim uh, the top 10, you know, uh, the top 5 spot. And uh, it's a great opportunity, you know, I'm not going to waste, I'm highly prepared, you know, I train very, very hard for this fight, and I'm ready to put in the show, I'm, I'm ready to put him away, you know, show the division that uh, I'll be the next welterweight champion.